Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production specialist. Thanks for joining me today on Colour Me In for another post-production demonstration. Hi, and welcome back. Okay, so today I want to have a look at Avid Titler. Um, I've done a previous version of like the roll tool in uh, pre-2018 Avid. And it's pretty simple if you stick with the normal title tool and avoid marquee, which is never a never a fun thing to use. Um, but the Title Plus tool is something that I've been using more. And to be honest, I'm getting more and more frustrated with it. Um, some of you might be getting frustrated with it too. So let's have a little look at it and look at how to set up a role tool and look at how some of the problems that certainly I've discovered. Um, so I've got a project here in a bin. Um, that's fine. We'll, um, we'll let's create a sequence. And we'll call this Titler Plus. Uh, open that out. And you can see that if I try and choose a title now in here, that it won't allow me to because I've got nothing in that track. So I need some media. So I'll just jump into uh, this bin, import source browser, and we'll jump to Avid. Some of you may have done this before. Avid has some templates that you can use. Uh, <clears throat> go to here, go to applications. There it is. And inside here, we've got supporting files. If you can see it there. And inside there, we've got test pans. Let's go to HD1080. And I'll bring in this TIFF of the SIMT bars. Uh, that's going to be import. That's fine. That's fine for now. So that's ingested those bars. So we've got something to create a sequence with. There we go. I'm going to whack that on the timeline. And we have a sequence of, let's say, 30 seconds. Let's create a new video layer, Command and Y. And we can then, that's where our title is now going to sit. We mark an in and we mark an out. So that area is highlighted. And then we hit our T for titler. And away we go. Now, titler, of course, has these two options now. We've got the this titler area, which allows you to tweak and play with some parameters, which is fine. And then you've got the sort of this you know, I call it a sort of a hot box. Um, some, you know, quick and easy things. It's not quick and easy in Tyler. Nothing is quick and easy in Tyler. Um, so let's see. Let's create something and see if we can make a roll. Um, so first thing I need to do is hit, is the, hit the T. Click on the screen of Cloud Monitor. And I've already um, created a, a very basic scroll uh, for a roller. Paste that in and you'll see that um, my name no <laughs> on every single role I must have been busy so by using the avid title here we can by highlighting command and a we can then move everything centrally in terms of like centrally in terms of the text and then if we line to a line we can then align it centrally on the screen so that's not too bad we can change the sizing font size here let's go to 100 but where's the role so <clears throat> you jump to effect here Choose change call to roll. So we now have a basic roll. Um, but you'll notice that this scroll bar on this right hand side isn't moving. It's not allowing us to, let's say if we want to change something, it's not allowing us to change it. The way that you do that is you then have to jump down to this uh, move tool and then you should be able to then scroll through. But you, of course, can't edit. You then have to jump back to the T tool and then start editing it. It's, it's quite frustrating. There's lots of extra clicks you don't need to do. Um, now, what I found using on my Mac is that, and actually others on some PCs, this scroll bar not working at all um, and being completely locked out of this text, So and it then crashing. So let's say we come out and we want to re-edit that. So if we come out, click on the timeline, and we come out. Right, and I want to go back in and re-edit that. Of course, you've got to jump in and hit the effects key. Um, and you'll notice that the, the hot box that I said doesn't appear, okay? And it's just not there. And so you've just got this box, and you can't actually, even if you select, you can't actually select this text. Um, so you go to Tools, and then you've got to get the title panel back up. Why this doesn't come up automatically, I've still not yet to know, or a tool that I've not discovered yet. Uh, if anyone knows that, put it in the comment down below. Um, so 
you can but you can see it's all grayed out so I still can't access this text so what you have to do or what I've discovered is you need to turn effect off turn effect off go to this the move tool okay and then what we should be able to do is apply, reapply the roll effect okay you can see where we're going here this is takes a little bit of working out and we should be able to scroll through that text okay but we can't edit it of course we have to then jump over to the text tool now let's say that I want the uh, uh, the roles of, 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 of this of this roller to be smaller so I'm going to highlight the presenter and this, this bit's quite good it's very fluid and I'm going to go to the font size I'm going to change that down to let's say 80 slightly smaller I'm going to go to here editor do the same thing okay I'm going to try and scroll down and there we go it won't scroll down we then have to jump over to the move tool and then it should scroll down but again it doesn't always I get a lot of crashes at this point now I want to edit the runner sort of uh, line here but now I can't I've got to now jump over to the T highlight change that and sort of go all the way down doing this it's it's again it's very frustrating and if your clients paying a hundred to two hundred pounds an hour this is just too slow. This is not good enough. Um, I really would ask Avid to have a look at this very, very quickly because it's very frustrating and many of my peers have the same issue. Um, see, I can't, I can't scroll down. I've got to go to the move tool and scroll down. And again, hoping it doesn't crash. And I've got to jump to the T tool now. Highlight. You can see this just takes a long, long time. Just imagine if you had like a hundred credits. You know, this would take all day. This is just not fun. Okay. Uh, but if you're watching this, please, please, please amend this ASAP, or certainly make it a little bit more obvious to people who are um, using this off the back of uh, 2018 Avid, which was relatively stable in terms of the title tool. Anyway. See, I'm having to do the same thing again. Just do this. One more to go. Right. Okay. Let's see if I can scroll it. Nope. I've got to jump over to the move tool again and scroll it. Okay. So, but in terms of like that, we, we've sort of got it. It's a little bit frustrating. Um, if we wanted to change the font, we can and the size pretty easily. But we just need to go into the title tool, click on that. Command A, highlight everything, and then we can then change the font size and things like that. So that that's relatively fluid. I'm not too fussed about that. It's sort of the inner workings, and this is this this monitoring here. You know, trying to scroll through. It's really important that you can scroll through quickly and jump to task and text and change it very fast, especially with a client um, on your shoulder. So the next thing I would, I I'd had issues with is this. Is let's say I wanted to reposition editor. This and Mark Adams. I wanted to move it up slightly. Let's say it was out of position. Well, I know that, um, let's say if I wasn't in the text editor anymore, I know that I would have to go to the edit pane and I'm missing the hotbox. So I've got to go tools, find the, the titler, and it's grayed out, of course. In order to get it back online, I need to turn the effect off. Okay, and then for me to select, okay, and then to turn the effect back on again. And make sure it's on the move tool and now I can move it reposition it let's reposition that so you can monitor it okay so roll it up a little bit more you see it's locking me out now it's very slow okay go back to the T tool and let's say I want to move these two together so we can use the position keys here and let's say that I want to reposition the y-axis and I want to go up a little bit Let's say I want to go up a little bit more. Okay. And let's say I want to come back down. Have you noticed I'm coming back down? I go minus and then it starts to react. Still pretty slow. Okay. But what if I accidentally made an error and I hit delete? Okay, it's gone. So I'm I'll be looking around, go, hold on a second, I've made a I made an error, I've deleted it. Where where is it? Hit undo. Nothing. Go back to the text. Hit undo, nothing, and you can see actually my <laughs> my uh, my my sizing, my my uh, font sizing has actually sort of uh, moved and changed, and my editor caption has disappeared, 
and I can't undo it. I've now got to type that out again or copy and paste in everything again. This is what I was finding on a couple of jobs. Um, the fact that the undo is it doesn't work at all. Um, and you have to be really careful about changing sizes and repositioning in this roller. And also, um, the selecting of whether the scroll works or doesn't work alongside the, the T-bar. Okay. Um, so those are a couple of things that I just wanted to talk about. And this is not necessarily me sort of explaining how to do things because many of you will know this better than I. But I'm sort of more highlighting the issues with the title tool. When the title tool first came out, it was really rough, really rough. Not a great tool, especially, you know, thinking about Avid's pedigree. Um, it's been smoothed out slightly, but there are quite a lot of bug fixes within the Titler Plus tool that need to be looked at now. And I think that as soon as they get this, you know, smooth and running, it's, it's going to be fine. But at the moment, it's very frustrating, very crashy, very inconsistent. Undo doesn't work. And you're going backwards and forwards to choose different tools in order to select and look at your scroller. And that thing is very similar on crawl as well. Listen, I hope that video has helped in some way and you've enjoyed it and you've just taken a few notes. Um, and uh, my advice, avoid title at all for now. But, um, I, you know, but if you feel it's important for you, experiment with it and see if you can find um, a way for it to work for you. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time.